There's a nice street rod, 1933 Ford three window coupe. This particular one is a Russ No More body and chassis. As you can see, finished off in black paint, laid on it very nice. Red diamond tuck interior. We'll get around to that in a little bit, let you check her out a little closer. Engine on this one, Big Al's 355 small block Chevy. Does have a four bolt main, Eagle crank and rods, forged eight to one compression pistons, comp cams, hydraulic roller cam and lifters, double, double roller timing chain, polished aluminum covers and pan, polished pro comp heads. The blower is a polished 671 blower with three inch drive, 750 Holly boost. Reference carbs, Sanderson and low car shifter. Just kind of running down the cheat sheet on this. Now, if you want to check out the still pictures, I'll take a picture of uh, the stats on it that I have that I'm kind of reading through as I go around this. Check out the still pictures. They can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video, there's a link. Just click on that. That's going to take you right there be able to see the still pictures and like I said the list of things I'm going to go through and kind of tell you about it and of course you feel free to call us too. number would be 507-386-1726 seen of the nice chrome and the suspension components the QA1 shocks up front chrome headlight buckets all the polished on the engine very very nice looking does have the baffles in those will come out this car sounds great. It is plenty loud with the baffles. We will start it up here shortly so you can hear it run. We'll get her fired up. All right, what else about this? Uh, transmission turbo 400 hydromatic underneath there. That is paired with the 355 small block Chevy. Now, as you can see, it does have AC compressor right there. It does have power brakes also. Uh, booster is underneath the engine or I should say underneath the body and the frame and you'll be able to see that with the underside pictures and check out the the frame and chassis and everything underneath there take a little peek at the interior like I said a diamond tucked red leather interior finished off very nicely dolphin gauges tilt column AC controls in the center now we do consider trades financing is available and of course we can assist you with getting this car to where you're located at That uh, Turbo 400 does have a 3,000 stall in it. Uh, rack and pinion unisteer. Obviously the polished front straight axle. Willwood four-wheel disc brakes. Does have a Ford nine inch in the rear here. And it does have a 355 rear gauge, gear ratio with Posi. Adjustable coil overs back here also. Mickey Thompson sport radials. Pro Streeters, looks like on there. Take that back, the rear is Hoosier, Mickey Thompson in the front. Let's take a little peek up here. There you go, Mickey Thompson's in the front. Hoosier's in the back, great looking tire and wheel combination. Awesome stance on this thing too. Uh, battery Shut off, dead man switch, if you will, in the trunk. There's also charging posts or jumping posts that are also in the trunk. Uh, battery is located also on the passenger side rear in the trunk. It does have a stereo in it, Kenwood amp, six by nines. There's been about 4,700 miles put on this car since it was built. Does also have power windows. It'll have like a, a manual looking window switch, but you just hold that up or down slightly, and that is your power windows. Again, you can see how nice this paint's laid on this thing. You can see the body lines, how well they fit, or how well they fit. A couple other things about this car. The, the trunk release is just behind the driver's seat. I'm gonna pop this door open so I can explain a little bit of this to you. Trunk release right there, the polished lever. Just pull it at you. Like I said, tilt column here. 
The headlight switch is on the bottom of the dash, left side of the steering column, and it is a three-way switch. So that is that right there. It is a three-way switch for high beam, low beam, and a dimmer switch. You can see some LED lighting, it looks like, for interior lights. Now, I tell you what, let's go ahead. I'm going to fire this up so you can hear it run, but as you can see, very nice custom interior. Like I said, the diamond tuck, and that matches the headliner, everything else, and it is all in very nice shape. So let's go ahead and fire this up. It takes just a little bit to get her warmed up, and I don't know if I'll let you guys listen to it. <laughs> 